Welcome to the Backpage Lead Vidcast, and uh, I welcome to my right Johnny Pirrick, um, Backpage Lead columnist, football and cricket, and behind me Liz Hurley, of course, <coughs> very important part of the team. Um, we're talking today about the Essendon behind the scenes manoeuvrings and the political uh, power play at work, given that they've had such a poor run this year on the field. Matthew Knights seems to be under pressure every week to perform and the whole waters have been muddied overnight by um, the pronouncement by James Hurd that he'd like to coach Essendon one day. Johnny, uh, what do you make of it all? Oh, the issue's certainly coming to a head, isn't it, Charlie? Um, as, you, as you alluded to, Matthew Knights has been under extreme pressure all season, and now James Hurd's come out and said he's got a, a desire to coach one day, perhaps even soon. Clearly intensifies pressure at Windy Hill. We've already seen a review start to be conducted with assistant coach Scott Camparelli and Ashley Prescott gone. And earlier this week I spoke to a senior figure at the club who said, quote, there's no guarantees for anyone at Essendon for next season. So Well, that kind that of flies indicates. in the face of what we've read in the daily papers, that his future, and I'm talking about Ian Robson's remarks during the week, that he his future was guaranteed, but your understanding is that not, not necessarily the case. Well, in that story, Robson pointed to a statement the club put out in July but that, all that statement says is Matthew Knights has a mandate to coach for next season. But really, what does a mandate mean? That, that's no guarantee that he'll definitely be back next season. And the way things are shaping up at the moment, I think the Bombers have had losses of 60 points or more at least five times this season. There's certainly issues of what, what sponsors are thinking about next year. The members are clearly making their feelings known on Talkback Radio. So there's a lot more to this than just wins and losses. It's the credibility of the club. It's Essendon wanting to remain one of the power clubs of the league, and to do that, they may have to make the, b the biggest change of all, and that's to change the coach. A, a big club, a proud club, a successful club, um, one of the powerhouses of the league, they don't tolerate failure well, as you say, and if Knights finishes off, for, Knights, Essendon finishes off the season with a couple of bad losses, you just can't see um, him being re-employed next year, and Hurd's emergence into the picture is interesting, given Michael Voss's experience at Brisbane, both champion players who've decided, thought, hoped they could go into the coaching sphere um, and transfer that success into the coach's box. Not always that easy, is it? No, well, again, listening to the talk back this morning, that there are some Essendon fans out there who feel exactly the same way. Like heard his experience so far as coaching, I think he under 10s at Paran. Mm -hmm. Done a good well, job of them, though. He's done a good job of them, but you know I could probably go out there and tell the boys to go and get the ball and boot it, basically. It's a big, totally different story, obviously, stepping straight into the AFL. And we've seen with Michael Voss, he did get the Lions into the finals last year, but the structure around him hasn't been good enough. Voss has had too much power, and now and the Lions have crumbled this year, and obviously there's you know, a major review going on there, too. So if Lloyd what Sorry, not Matthew Lloyd, although he possibly could be interested <laughs> down the track. But if Heard was to take charge, he needs a good support staff around him. And that's where someone like a Mark Williams, or even perhaps if the Bombers go back to a Robert Shaw to have by his side to help him get through his early seasons. What we're seeing at Brisbane is a kind of a tarnishing of, of the Golden Boys' reputation in Voss. He, he, he didn't put a foot wrong in his playing career stepped into the coach's box and he's obviously got a, a big ego, a healthy ego, and he's lost assistant coaches last year. It looks like he's going to lose a couple this year. Um, how do you read the situation up there, given that they're having a review of the internal review of the football department, which I think Voss has had some input into himself, which seems totally incongruous that he's actually reviewing his own position. Um, it's all gone horribly wrong this year for them, hasn't it? It has. Well, I think it goes back to when they decided to you know, embark on signing older players, like last season. Boss thought they were close to a premiership. They topped up um, with the likes of you know Matt McGuire, Brennan Favola, uh, Xavier Clark, and those guys, and, and, and they've struggled this year. The Favola trade has been an absolute disaster. Um, despite him being one, still one of the premier forwards, he's been injured. He's 11 years start, starting to take their toll, and the Lions, the Lions clearly sh um, perhaps should have learned from Danny Frawley's time at Richmond where they were further behind than what they thought. And Voss will definitely be safe for next season. I'd almost certainly guarantee him getting another three-year contract after that. But uh, he'll need some success in that time to win, a, 
to be there after six years. I think that's the big but, isn't it? You'd say, you know, what if they miss the finals next year? You reckon he'd still be signed? I up? still reckon he'd be safe here, just because of his standing at the club. Everyone loves him up there. So they'll give it another year for him to work with the new the new bunch of guys that come in, and I'll probably see that as a you know starting ground again. And from there, he'll have to um, get some success from that point on. Okay, so watch this space. It sounds like uh, Matthew Knights' future is not perhaps quite as ironclad as we've led, been led to believe. Um, watch this space over the next four or six weeks. Um, sure to be some interesting times ahead.